Howdy people. Okay, I have yet another one from Phil. Thanks mate. It's a Sunrise Scorpion. And I've actually reviewed a couple of these before, once in uh, Chile Nation. Um, Chile Nation Australia in the in the archives there, I've got another one. But the funny thing is I always thought it was a uh, Sunrise Habanero. So uh, I've now realised that there's no such thing. And it was always a Scorpion, which is why it was a little bit hot last time. Um, okay. Killer smell, really strong smell, um, exactly like a ripe scorpion should be. Uh, you know, really, really, you know, deep, like I say, that roasted fruit sort of smell, or really ripe fruit. You know, uh, Trinidad Pod, fantastic. I really love the smell of these. Um, really thick skin on it. You can see it's got that kind of mushroomy shape. With the little little marugari sort of bit at the bottom there. Uh, I know when I grew mine, it had a lot uh, paler foliage on it too. But all right, I want to get into it. Yeah, really instant all around the mouth. <clears throat> really strong fruity flavour. Had a, had a cluster of seeds in it, but there weren't many seeds in it. But straight to the back of the throat. Like that, that's really getting me, you know, starting to get deep in the throat. The reason they call these sunrise scorpions is because on the plant they actually face upwards. Um, and like I said, my, when I grew it a couple of seasons ago, it was really interesting. It had really pale foliage, but you know, when I look on the internet at everyone else's plants, um, they're uh, you know regular green dark foliage. So mine may have just been a, a bit of a, an oddity. Yeah, burn all around the mouth, full mouth burn. Um, it's, it's not too bad and deep in the throat it's there but it's not not too bad now it's really spreading to cheeks uh, top of the back of my throat um, tongue drool started I guess it was it was a little bit ripe it was it was just getting on a little bit of the soft stage but it still had plenty of crunch to it But the, the flavour on the tongue is fantastic. I mean, this is why people use scorpions for sauces. Just an absolutely fantastic flavour. I've grown a couple of uh, scorpions this year, but it was uh, a couple of overwintered ones, uh, choc marugas and things like that. I haven't had, just had a Trinidad scorpion grow for a long time, to be honest. But another thing, when I grew this uh, a couple of seasons ago, really fantastic yield on it as well. Just pot after pot, every time I picked a few, it would uh, reflower and, and, and new pods. Sides of the tongue's really copping it. But more than anything, it's just a whole mouth burn. <clears throat> Drool. Um, it's a pretty hot day here, but a bit of sweat. Hard to tell if it's the, the pod or the, the sun. Full tongue burn. Inside of my lips a little bit, not a lot. Tip of my tongue's got it. But absolutely, if you're, if you're a big fan of scorpions, um, you know, just for the yield as well as the flavour, Shape is fantastic. Um, I, 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 yeah, it's a, it's a cracker. Heat out of ten. It's not the hottest thing I've ever had, so. But it's still got plenty of fire, and it's everywhere. Um, seven and a half to eight. 8 out of 10 I think yep 
seven and a half to eight out of ten heat. Um, I think it's I think it's peaked. It's not going to get any hotter. I uh, won't make it a long way one today. Um, Phil again, mate. Thanks. All of those pods you've sent are just fantastic. Uh, you're very generous, mate. All right. Leading up to, I think tomorrow I'm going to do the Butler DM, Chalk Butler DM. So I'll start preparing for all that tonight. <laughs> all right, folks. Have a great day. Catch you later.